Hello and welcome to this webcast on enhancing EMA 3D Secure for e-commerce. I'm Yilan Chu, EMA 3DS Working Group Chair. Today, I will provide a brief introduction on EMA 3DS and look at some of the key enhancements introduced in version 2003, as well as resources available to support the use of EMA 3DS. Before I start, I'd like to give you a quick introduction to EMWICO for anyone who is unfamiliar with it. EMWICO is a technical body that enables car-based payment to work seamlessly and securely. It delivers on this mission by developing specification and supporting testing, certification, and mask programs for products that enable the delivery of consistent and convenient payment for merchants, business, and consumers. Key to EMWICO's work is close collaboration with payment industry to adapt and evolve those specifications to continue to support technical innovations, the needs of different marketplaces, and changes in consumer behaviors. The EMW specification have evolved beyond the original EMW chip specification to support a wide range of technologies. This include contact, contactless, mobile, payment organization, QR code, secure remote commerce, and 3D secure. These specifications all form part of a layered security approach that enable banks and merchants to provide consumers with the ability to make secure and convenient car-based payment worldwide. So let's take a close look at one of the technologies helping to boost the security of online transactions, EMW 3D Secure. EMW CDS is a fraud prevention technology that enables consumer authentication for car not present purchases without adding unnecessary friction to the payment process, which often leads to abandoned purchases. The EMW 3DS specification provides a common set of requirements that product provider can use to integrate this technology into their solutions to support seamless and secure e-commerce payments. The specifications are supported by the EMW 3DS test platform that enables the functional testing of EMW 3DS solutions. EMW 3DS solutions help car issuers to identify fraudulent transactions more quickly and accurately so that merchants can prevent e-commerce fraud with minimal disruption to the purchase process, and consumers can expect a safe and easy checkout experience. For issuers, it enables enhanced authentication and fraud management. For merchants, it offers greater security and reduced friction, and the consumers get a better, safer checkout experience. The consumer only see a simple process. For consumers, EMW 3DS means that for many transactions, they simply click or tap online and the payment is approved. For some transactions, Issuer may determine that further authentication is needed, for example, because of an unusual purchase pattern that does not fit with the consumer profile, or a high-value monetary transaction, or because it is required by legislation, such as the Revised Payment Service Directive, PSD2, and its associated strong customer authentication in Europe. In these cases, consumers are prompt to authenticate themselves using a one-time on one passcode, knowledge-based questions, biometrics, or other methods. The latest update to the EMW 3DS specification is version 2003. It was originally published in September 2021, following approval of its release by EMW Code's board advisors. First, I will first cover at a high level the types of changes made and then look at some examples of these enhancements in more detail. EMW 3DS version 2.3 introduced enhancements that increase flexibility in optimizing EMW 3DS implementation across multiple channels and devices, such as gaming consoles or smart speakers. This helps issuers identify fraudulent transactions more quickly and accurately and also helps streamline the authentication process for consumers to improve the overall payment experience. For example, one key update is greater flexibility to support complex technical environments with a new split SDK model with multiple variants. 
This makes it easier to implement EMOECDS across both traditional and non-traditional e-commerce payment channels and devices. Version 2.3 introduced additional authentication approaches to enhance security and fraud prevention. It also provides streamlined consumer authentication to minimize friction and optimize the payment experience. Updates include support for web authentication, web authent, and the secure payment confirmation, SPC, that issuer and merchant can use within the EMOE CDS flow to better determine the legitimacy of a transaction in order to reduce the risk of fraud. Automated auto bank transactions for a more seamless user experience to help the consumer switch seamlessly between a merchant application and an authentication application. And also user interface improvement to simplify how information is communicated to consumers. Let's look briefly at how WebAuthn and SPC support has been integrated. Yamweco has collaborated with the World Wide Web Consortium, WCC, and the FIDO Alliance to include support for WebAuthn and SPC. Firstly, WebAuthn is used as an ECS challenge method if additional cardholder authentication is required, such as with high-value transaction. In this case, there is no 3DS flow change for ACS to use WebAuthn. EMW 3DS version 2.3 enables new elements for WebAuthn support. And the WebAuthn prompts the final challenge, and the user interface is controlled by the browser and operation system. A card holder can register an authenticator from their browser and device. A challenge prompt is provided by the browser and the operation system when the API is invoked. Secondly, we have Secure Payment Confirmation, which EMW 3DS version 2.3 uses FIDO-based authentication to securely confirm the transaction via the SPC API. In this case, EMW 3DS version 2.3 enables new data element and optimize CDS flow for SPC support. SPC API prompts the FIDO challenge. The user interface is controlled by the browser and operation system, and the issuer provides the text and images in the user examples. Another key update in EMW CDS version 2.3 is the addition of automated auto band transactions. Automated OOB transactions help consumers to switch seamlessly between a merchant application and an authentication application. This provides a simpler, easier to use way for consumer to confirm a transaction when an authentication method through a separate channel is required. Why are enhancements here important? Well, typically auto band authentication has been a manual process for consumers, involving multiple steps. For example, they leave the merchant app to log in separately to the backing app. In the backing app, they then review and confirm the transaction is legitimate and then switch back to the merchant app. New enhancement in version 2.3 automates the auth transaction between the merchant app and the backing app when OOB authentication is needed, simplifying and speeding up the checkout for consumers. EMW 3DS version 2.3 also introduces enhancement to the user interface to provide issuer with additional options for streamlining how information is presented and communicated to consumers to guide them through the authentication process easily and efficiently. On screen, you can see some of these enhancements, including number one, the option for two information entry boxes on the same page. Number two, a clear information template. Number three, an additional button to provide an alternative choice for authentication methods. It's worth noting that Several industry sectors work with EMWECO to adapt EMWE's specification to support specific use cases and to define supplementary information to be communicated to help reduce fraud. In travel, the EMWE 3DS travel industry message extension provides supplemental guidance on how travel-specific data elements can be used to improve e-commerce payment authentication for travel purchases. It was developed with key travel industry players and is specifically designed to meet the needs of airlines and travel agents to immediately reduce the transaction fraud 
while minimizing additional friction during the purchase experience. It is independent of the protocol version and can be used with EMV CDS version 2.1, 2.2, and 2.3. In gaming, industry stakeholders approach to EMV code to request that additional specific gaming console device information was shared with issuer to enable the frictionless authentication experience that gamer expect. Following extensive engagement, enhancements were incorporated into EMV 3DS specification, meeting unique user interface requirements posed by gaming use cases. So what's next for EMV 3DS? Payment and technical communities are continually collaborating to ensure that EMV 3DS involves in line with technical capabilities business operations and uh, legislations. This includes refining the information that should be shared across different payment scenarios to enable successful risk-based decisions and supporting new payment environments, such as voice-activated transactions. With increasingly more ways for payments to be made and accepted, EMWICO is exploring new ways that EMW specifications can work together to support a consistent, convenient, and secure payment experience for consumers wherever they are shopping. There are multiple resources available from emwico.com to help support better understanding, best practices, and testing. This includes EMW 3DS browser flow best practices, our EMW Insight articles, and quick resources providing an overview of the technologies. It also includes an EMW 3DS testing program, which is currently under development to align with EMA CDS version 2.3. And finally, I'd like to share this recent statement released by the US Payment Forum in its Springing Market Snapshot. EMA CDS is not only being used to help comply with regulation in Europe, it is being adopted globally to help in the fight against the fraud. The specifications will continue to involve with input from stakeholders across the industry as e-commerce activity continues to rise. So that's it for today. And don't forget, you can also check out other educational webcasts on topics like EMV payment tokenization and click to pay. Simply subscribe to our YouTube channel for notifications on future videos uploads. Thank you again for listening, and we hope you join us again next time.